Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a gorgeous Valentine's nail set and honestly, I am so excited to be back with a XL acrylic nail set. It feels like it's been forever since I've sat and filmed like a full nail tutorial. Lottie and the kid, well, all of my kids were sick over Christmas and honestly it was just hectic. So trying to get time to film was just an absolute no. So I kind of just put it at the back and I was like, that is not going to happen. I need to just obviously take care of the kids. They come first no matter what. So that is where I've been. I've literally been looking after the kids and then obviously the first week back in January, it was go, 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 back at work, get everything sorted, organised, the kids back at school. Luckily, they are all better now and feeling fabulous, but that was a tough, like, Christmas time. Like, I don't think we've ever been, like, the kids have been sick over Christmas, and I know it was Sonny had caught it from his friend, and then he had it, Lottie got it, and then after Lottie, Pixie had it, so it was literally, like, non-stop for, like, six weeks. They were sick, and I was like, no, but anyway... Thankfully they are better and we are on the road to being organised again. But you know when your household has just been sick and everything just like goes out the window? It's been like that, it's been crazy. But yeah, we're back, we are getting on with another video and I'm so excited. So if you didn't already know, which you might well not since like I said I haven't been on upload. Uh, uploading or updating you guys with anything i did launch my brand new valentine's acrylic nail collection so i'm going to be using one of those in this video for this set and the color that i chose to use for this one is needs love and oh my gosh it's the most gorgeous jelly pink acrylic with the most beautiful sparkles inside and i am just absolutely obsessed with the entire collection I worked so hard planning and prepping all of the colours and the colour palette. I really wanted to use a limited colour palette of just the reds, the blacks and the pinks. Obviously that is kind of what Valentine's Day is all about but I didn't want to bring like neutrals and you know other pastel colours in. I wanted to really focus on that but I wanted it to be sassy and sexy and really just like gothic and grunge and you know a bit out there so yeah i've got four brand new colors and you guys have been obsessed with them which i'm so thankful for so thank you for all of the love on my newest collection if you do want to check it out i'll leave it linked in the description box so you can go ahead and check it out i can tag it in the video but i've noticed that when i tag a product in the video if i don't give it a time I think even if I do give it a timestamp, it literally stays in the bottom left corner. And honestly, I am not about that life. Like, it needs to disappear. Like, <laughs> if you want to tag it something, it should only pop up if somebody wants to kind of select it. Do you know what I'm saying? But I've seen, I've watched back like a video and it was literally there the entire time. I was like, no, thank you, ma'am. So I'm not going to be doing that, I don't think. Um so yeah if you want to check it out it'll be linked in the description box so yeah let's get into the video you can kindly kindly well i suppose you can lady <laughs> you can see that i have gone ahead and already applied my nail tips i've done the clear base and i already started off i've done the pinky fingers one the pinky i've done pure pink and need love ombre on the ring finger i've gone ahead and done some foil design so i just applied the foil mate gel to the tip added my nail foil over the top and then i've come in with needs love and ombre that down i then went ahead and just added some of that foil just to a certain part because i'm doing an encapsulated like color block but i wanted it to be a specific design like a little kind of a stained glass window i suppose but not really more like a piece of jewel encapsulated within that nail and then went ahead and added some gold foil leaf which i just think elevates any design and really makes it look absolutely stunning 
Once I've done that, I'm moving ahead to the pointer finger and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same again with pure pink, blending that down the nail, making sure it's exactly how I want it and building up that color. And once I've applied that, I'm then gonna come in with the Needs Love, add that to the free edge and just blend it out because yeah now i wanted the set to be flowing and looking bomb together so bringing like two nails that kind of coincide with each other just really helps bring the look together also guys i have a client booked in for a valentine's set and honestly i cannot freaking wait she's letting me do whatever i want which i'm so excited about and she is wanting to use um ride or die from the new valentine's collection so yeah i'm planning that set and i'm so excited i'm so excited i will be filming it for you guys as well so that's really exciting not worked on a client for a long time or if i have it's just been like family and friends and i've really not filmed it because it's just been like quickly in and out especially with having lotte and just being so busy um, it's just kind of been like whoosh get the set on and off we go um, but yeah I'm excited to film that and I'm excited to have her back honestly I miss my clients so freaking much okay so I'm going ahead you know blending that powder up did you see how seamlessly it blends with it being such a gorgeous jelly acrylic honestly it's absolutely effortless and this powder would look beautiful just a full short like almond or oval set blended up at the free edge oof it would look bomb you know it would so i'm going to blah 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 cannot talk i'm trying to be kind of quiet but i also want to talk to you guys like loud enough that you can hear me explain in the video i've literally got lotte like led on me napping and she is she is threatening me to wake up honestly so I'm, I'm kind of being quiet but not really you know what i'm saying so i'm coming in with the crystal clear acrylic and i'm just going ahead and basically encapsulating this in like a circle because i wanted it to be like a jewel or a pendant i don't know if you've seen like brooches like old vintage like brooches where they've got flowers or florals either encapsulated in them or on the top i just think they are so beautiful and i felt like that would look really pretty for this valentine's design um that i had and i wanted to bring that to life so that's what I'm doing. I also wanted to create it with acrylic. Of course, if you work with gel or gel polish, you could go ahead and just do the foil over the top and inlay the um like the gold leaf under a rubber base or if you use the build plus gel that would encapsulate these pieces as well. But yeah, I really wanted to get back to using acrylic. I am obsessed with acrylic. It's where my passion is. It's what I mostly like find really creative and just gives me so much. I don't know. It's just kind of where my roots are at. It's where I started and I want to really get back to it. I feel like for so long I've been trying to kind of move towards doing like gel art which i know i can do but honestly it's not where like my passion really lies it is with acrylic application and acrylic design so i'm gonna get back into that for you guys not only for you guys but for myself as well because i feel like by trying to do the gel and really do a, a wide range of pretty much everything and anything i lost myself a little bit and it wasn't really fun anymore i was kind of creating it for other people or for the algorithm or for the internet to like me you know what i'm saying instead of doing what i absolutely adore and love i got lost but i'm back i know what i love and what really sets my like passion on fire and that is the acrylic it is working with the gorgeous colors that we have and really just creating those like designs with acrylic it's just my whole thing you know what i'm saying it is my thing and we are going with it girlfriend <laughs> like if i were to sit and look and see what I'm, what my style is i would definitely say it is an acrylic artist like but at the minute if i kind of look back at the work that i've been creating i would I wouldn't really kind of be able to pinpoint what my signature style is because I've been doing a little bit of everything and not really known. 
does that make sense i have no idea what i'm trying to say i'm just chatting with you guys but i don't know if other people feel like that sometimes you feel like you're doing things for the sake of the algorithm to kind of pick it up and show it to people because that's what everybody seems to be doing but i don't want to do that anymore i want to do what i love because i don't want to fall out of love with what i'm doing hopefully that makes sense to you guys um but yeah, anyway, I allowed the acrylic to dry with the encapsulated part and then I came in with my hand file, I filed it the sides of this to give it a crisp edge on the oval shape and then I'm coming in with pure pink and I'm just filling in that area. I'm going to blend it down the nail and we're adding a little bit of need love on the free edge and blending it up as well just because I really want to bring that pink throughout the whole entire set just to make it flow, make it coincide, make the kind of feng shui of the set really work so once i've gone ahead and done this nail i'll go ahead and encapsulate it i will only need to encapsulate the end since pure pink is a core powder not only the fact that it's a core powder it doesn't have any glitter pieces inside it so it doesn't need encapsulating mainly plain colors um can literally just be used as acrylic Oh, I left this bit in as well. As you can see, I'm smooshing the acrylic on. It's not your typical application, but I just want to let you guys know that acrylic is so versatile. And once you get comfortable with it and you find a system that you absolutely love, which I'm hoping is the Nail Mate acrylic system, since that's my brand and, you know, my baby, and I absolutely love it, um, you will be shocked with how much you can do with it, with how freeing and just amazing it really really is but i know a lot of you guys don't work with acrylic but you enjoy watching me work with acrylic which i just want to say thank you for that like, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos to support my content and just make my online space like a super super happy place because without you guys honestly it would be super lonely and i would just be posting for the sake of it but I know you guys are here and waiting and I read all of your comments I do need to go on and reply to some I've been reading through them um but I need to reply there's quite a few actually um but I just want to say thank you so much for the love and the kindness you guys are absolutely amazing like literally I just love you guys so much I have so many things planned for 2024 for my channel and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. It's going to be really fun. There's going to be lots going on and I cannot wait to get to it. But obviously being a mum and my children coming first, it's just finding the time to do it. Most of the time, I'm not going to lie, when I'm filming these videos, it is like 1am, 2am and then I'll kind of dive into bed at half two and wake up at seven and I'm like, damn, <laughs> I need some more sleep um so sometimes i'm like i need to give it a rest and then recharge and then i'm back again um it won't be for long because babies like eventually they do get you know in a routine and a rhythm but yeah i'm excited for this year it's going to be a big one it's going to be amazing and i'm really really excited for it and i'm so glad that all of you guys are so reassuring to me as well with how much you always like we'll wait we'll be here we love your content like that just really reassures me and i know that you guys that do love my videos and content will still be here and are still here and just sometimes i feel like it just does really feel like you're letting you like you down like i don't want to let you guys down with not bringing content even though i know there's so much other content that you can be watching it's not like you're going to be doing nothing um but as a content creator it is something that you worry about when you're not able to film a lot of content and get it out like you used to but yeah i've got a plan and hopefully i'll be back soon um just more regularly okay i encapsulated everything and then i used the glitter planet black gel paint to paint on my design this gel paint does not have a tacky layer so once you've fully cured it in the lamp you can go directly in with your chrome powder it makes isolated chrome designs an absolute breeze because there is no added step in between before i was using this gel i would have to like come in with my top coat and then go over the color that i wanted the chrome to be on and it was just a real pain now i absolutely love doing chrome 
and especially the intricate like isolated designs because why wouldn't I like it's super easy I just come in paint my design cure it for 60 seconds and then using the silicone tools because they are so precise and amazing for applying chrome I rub in my chrome powder dust everything off and then that is it I can come in and top coat I love a big fluffy dust brush to remove the fine particles. I squeeze it together to give it a bit more stiffness and then really smoosh it into the nail to get rid of the excess. Um, it's the perfect brush because it's soft enough that it's not going to scrape off the chrome that you've applied, but you can squeeze it to give it a bit more firmness that it's going to get rid of the excess, if that makes sense. If you use a hard one, it's just going to scrape off the actual chrome that you want to stay. So I'm using the fuchsia crystals and I'm going to be applying those around the cuticle. I wanted to bring in that dark pink from the roses and add that on there. So I thought this was just the perfect accent and you could also add some of the gold micro beads in between which would also look cute but I wanted to leave it at that for this one. I'm then coming in and adding the Nail Mate Super Gloss. Curing that in the light, I'll add some oil and then I'll show you guys the final look. But how stunning does this look? Like it's quite simple, I think, but it's super elegant and just really, really pretty. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And as always, please remember that you are bomb.com, lit as heck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye.